report in Forsyth County, where search crews have found the body of one of the two men who disappeared after a boat crash on Lake Lanier. Now, the two men vanished after a fishing boat and a cabin cruiser collided yesterday. Now, Fox 5's Kerry Charles joins us live from Lake Lanier. He's been following all of the developments and joins us with the latest on the recovery efforts. Well, Sinead, those crews, they got out of here just around 4 o'clock, and they wanted to get a move on because of this, the storms that have rolled into the area. They tell us they do plan to get back out here at some point tomorrow. They still don't know what led to the crash. They are also waiting to release the identity of the person whose body was found today. What started as a rescue mission Wednesday evening soon turned to a recovery effort. The search for two men at Baldridge Creek at Lake Lanier. Thursday afternoon, just before 4 o'clock, crews found one body. We did locate the, the bodies of one of the subjects we've been looking for. And so but we still, with the weather coming in and whatnot, we're having to cease operations for today. But we're going to try to be back here tomorrow morning and start looking for the other other uh, victim and try to hopefully make a recovery on, on them. The two men, 59-year-old Brian Slav Presak and 38-year-old Nicholas Shimweg, are neighbors, fishing buddies. They were in a fishing boat, investigators say, that somehow collided with a cabin cruiser Wednesday evening around 5 o'clock. The initial search ended after dark but continued when the sun came up Thursday morning. Sergeant Lee Brown with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources says several teams used sonar equipment to scan several feet below the lake's surface. They did run into some challenges. Right now, the wind is a factor because once we put the equipment down, it's hard to keep the pontoon boat steady and on course because of the, the, with the way the wind is blowing. Sky Fox 5 hovered above as teams searched for the men. Crews found the body 33 feet underwater. We located the, the a target, like I explained to you earlier. The ROV went down, confirmed it was one of the, the persons we was looking for. And then Hall County, Forsyth County divers went down and made the recovery. 